everyone and welcome to funneltotunnel.com. Today we will be discussing a very important topic and that is the basics of draft survey. I got a lot of requests for this particular video and today we will be discussing the same. As we go along in the video you will come to know that uh, what I am talking about. So let's move ahead. The first question, why do you need a draft survey? Most common answer is to determine how much cargo has been loaded or discharged. Now, if I may ask another question, as a chief officer, what is your aim while carrying out the draft survey? Take a moment to think. Your answer can be either of the two below. Number one could be determining the exact constant and or determining the exact amount of cargo. Let me tell you, both of these answers are wrong. Now you may ask why. Because the only thing which you should have on your mind while carrying out the draft survey is following. Number one is save some cargo in your pocket at the loading port and show more cargo at the discharge port which you have saved at the load port. Simply speaking you don't want any shortage of cargo at the discharge port which will result in claims on the vessel. So basically you don't want any headache. And that is how we are going to tackle the concept of draft surveys in the most practical way. Because no one is giving you any award for loading more cargo, but everyone will be behind your back the moment the cargo outturn is shot at the discharge port. A very important disclaimer, we will not teach you how to read drafts in this video. As a ship's officer, we expect that you should know how to take the drafts. So let us begin. Let us first discuss that what is your aim while carrying out draft survey. We shall discuss how to achieve the same later. Aim at load port. Your aim at loading port should be to show slightly less amount of cargo loaded on the ship than actual. For example, if the actual amount of cargo loaded on ship is say 75,000 metric tons, your aim should be to show that slightly less amount of cargo is loaded, say for example 74,900 metric tons. This difference should not be too much. So let's say this 100 tons of difference is a cargo which will go into your pocket. That means that you have saved this cargo which you will be showing at the discharging port. So the cargo discharge will be little more than the BL figure, but not less than the BL figure. Your aim at discharge port should be to show cargo equal to or more than the bill of lading quantity, that is the BL quantity. If the quantity is less than the BL figure, there could be a possibility that the vessel is presented with cargo shortage claims, as few draft surveyors nowadays are highly non-cooperating. So this is a situation which you should avoid at all costs. Obtaining cargo more than BL figure is always better than obtaining less. It is prudent to discuss the bill of lading figure. The cargo figure mentioned on the bill of lading is the one which is accepted and signed for. Legally speaking, the quantity of cargo mentioned on the BL is the one which is loaded on board the ship. Therefore, note that in all circumstances, it is the responsibility of the vessel to discharge the cargo as per the bill of lading. At the loading port, your aim should be as follows. At initial draft survey, your aim should be to get more constant. At final draft survey, your aim should be to get less cargo. Now how to get more constant during the initial draft survey? There are three methods to it, so you can use any of them or a combination. Number one, read drafts slightly more than actual and or show ballast slightly less than actual and or show water density slightly more than actual. At the loading board, how to get less cargo during the final draft survey. Similarly, we have three ways of doing it. So you can use any one of them or their combination. Number one, read drafts slightly less than actual and or show ballast slightly more than actual and or show water density slightly less than actual. At the discharging port, your aim should be as follows. At initial draft survey, you should aim to get more cargo. 
at final draft survey your aim should be to get more cargo simply because you need to show that you have discharged more cargo than BL figure in order to avoid shortage claims. Now at discharge port, how to get more cargo during the initial draft survey? There are three ways of doing it. You can use any one of them or their combination. Number one, read draft slightly more than actual and or show ballast slightly less than actual and or show water density slightly more than actual. At the discharge port, how to get more cargo during the final draft survey? Again, there are three ways of doing it. You can use any one of them or a combination. Number one, read draft slightly less than actual and or show ballast slightly more than actual and or show water density slightly less than actual. So as of now, you just remember this concept. This will help you to ensure that you don't land up with short cargo at the discharge port. And that should be your aim. So here I have summarized both the situation for the loading as well as the discharging port and what you need to achieve at the initial draft survey and the final draft survey. Also the method has been given to you. We shall be applying this concept to the draft survey program in our next video and we will explain how this works. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.